What's up guys, I'm Mello and this is Mello Reacts. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here to all of my subbies, welcome back. We are getting into some more George. Ooh, religion, honey. I don't know what's about to happen, but uh, hey, look, I'm reacting and that's what I do. Uh, for those of you that may be new over here as well, you can check out my George Carlin playlist if you want to see um, any other uh, stand-ups that I've reacted to uh, of him. So go check that out. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload more videos. Let's get into George. Mm. <laughs> But in the bullshit department, in the bullshit department, a businessman can't hold a candle to a clergyman. Because I got to tell you the truth, folks. I got to tell you the truth. When it comes to bullshit, big time, major league bullshit, you have to stand in awe. In awe of the all-time champion of false promises and exaggerated claims, religion. No contest. No contest. Religion, religion easily has the greatest bullshit story ever told. Think about it. Religion has actually convinced people that there's an invisible man living in the sky who watches everything you do every minute of every day. And the invisible man has a special list of ten things he does not want you to do. And if you do any of these ten things, he has a special place full of fire and smoke and burning and torture and anguish where he will send you to live and suffer and burn and choke and scream and cry forever and ever till the end of time. But he loves you. <laughs> he loves you. He loves you and he needs money. <laughs> He always needs money. He's all powerful, all perfect, all knowing, and all wise. Somehow, just can't handle money. <laughs> Religion takes in billions of dollars, they pay no taxes, and they always need a little more. Now, you talk about a good bullshit story. Holy shit. <laughs> But, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. But I want you to know, I want you to know something. This is sincere. I want you to know, when it comes to believing in God, I really tried. I really, really tried. I tried to believe that there is a God who created each of us in his own image and likeness, loves us very much, and keeps a close eye on things. I really tried to believe that, but I got to tell you, the longer you live, the more you look around, the more you realize something is fucked up. <laughs> something is wrong here. War, disease, death, destruction, hunger, filth, poverty, torture, crime, corruption, and the Ooh. ice capades. <laughs> something is definitely wrong. This is not wow. good work. If this is the best God can do, I am not impressed. Results like these do not belong on the resume of a supreme being. This is the kind of shit you'd expect from an office temp with a bad attitude. <laughs> well, just between you and me, in between you and me, in any oh, decently run goodness. universe, this guy would have been out on his all-powerful ass a long time ago. <laughs> and by the way, I say this guy because I firmly believe, looking at these results, that if there is a God, it has to be a man. No woman could or would ever fuck things up like this. <laughs> so, so, uh, if, oh, man. If, if there is a God, if there is, I think most reasonable people might agree that he's at least incompetent and maybe, just maybe, doesn't give a shit. Doesn't give a shit, which I admire in a person and which would explain a lot of these bad results. So rather than be just another mindless religious robot, mindlessly and, and aimlessly and blindly believing that all of this is in the hands of some spooky, incompetent father figure who doesn't give a shit, I decided to look around for something else to worship, something I could really count on. And immediately, I thought of the sun. Happened like that. Overnight, mm -hmm. I became a sun worshiper. Well, not overnight, you can't see the sun at night. <laughs> the first thing the next morning, I became a sun worshiper. Several reasons. 
First of all, I can see the sun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike some other gods I could mention, I can actually see the sun. I'm big on that. If I can see something, I don't know, kind of helps the credibility along, you know? <laughs> so every day I can see the sun as it gives me everything I need. Heat, light, food, flowers in the park, reflections on the lake, and occasional skin cancer, but hey. <laughs> At least there are no crucifixions, and we're not setting people on fire simply because they don't agree with us. Sun worship is fairly simple. There's no mystery, no miracles, no pageantry, no one asks for money, there are no songs to learn, and we don't have a special building where we all gather once a week to compare clothing. And the best thing, the best thing about the sun, it never tells me I'm unworthy. Doesn't tell me I'm a bad person who needs to be saved. Hadn't said an unkind word. Oh. Treats me fine. So I worship the sun, but I don't pray wow. to the sun. Oh my gosh, he said a mouthful. I just watched this movie, uh, Kingdom of Heaven. I think it was like in 2005 or something, Orlando Bloom. And it's very interesting. Like there's a few things that, that cross my mind with everything that he said. You know, they were fighting for their kingdom and they believed in a higher power. And towards the end of the movie, because there was so much back and forth war going on, one of the guys said, listen, I'm not fighting this last one because I come to find out that we're not fighting for God. We're fighting for land and resources. And I was like, oh, my goodness. And I think. The misconception with religion is that, because you can be religious about a lot of different things, you know, there's probably like over 4,000 different religions, which entails says that there's people that are creating their own group think, right? So what does that really have to do with a higher power, right? So I think that's where a lot of the confusion comes in. I think what's also missing is the metaphysical aspect. I feel like it's kind of dismissive in our world that we're living in. We're being very dismissive to the planet, right? The universe, what we're floating in. And people don't want to go there. And, you know, a lot of these books have been re rewritten so many times. And, you know, it's also like, well, who wrote them and where are they getting their information from? We're all ignorant to the metaphysical quantum, metaphysical quantum physics aspects of what this world really is. So it just continuously allots for the confusion, right? Ooh, sorry, guys. He said so much. I was feeling all that. Wow. Know why? I wouldn't. None. Kind word treats me fine. So I worship the sun, but I don't pray to the sun. Know why? I wouldn't presume on our friendship. It's not polite. I've often thought people treat God rather rudely, don't you? Asking you know, trillions and trillions of prayers every day, asking and pleading and begging for favors, do this, give me that, I need a new car, I want a better job. And most of this praying takes place on Sunday, his day off. It's not nice, and it's no way to treat a friend. But people do pray, and they pray for a lot of different things. You know, your sister needs an operation on her crotch. Your, your brother was arrested for defecating in a mall. But most of all, you'd really like to fuck that hot little redhead down at the convenience store. You know, the one with the eye patch and the club foot, huh? Can you pray for that? I think you'd have to. And I say, fine, pray for anything you want. Pray for anything. But what about the divine plan? Remember that? The divine plan. Long time ago, God made a divine plan. Gave it a lot of thought, decided it was a good plan, put it into practice. And for billions and billions of years, the divine plan has been doing just fine. Now you come along and pray for something. Well, suppose the thing you want isn't in God's divine plan. What do you want him to do? Change his plan? Just for you? <laughs> Doesn't it seem a little arrogant? It's a divine plan. What's the use of being God if every rundown schmuck with a $2 prayer book can come along and fuck up your plan? Oh my gosh, the divine plan. And he also mentioned the, the billions of years, you know, it's, and the arrogance of us as humans blows my mind, especially when you are not 
looking further into what you're actually in. You know, th this is called a planet and, you know, there's many other planets. So obviously there's something else going on in these skies that, you know, we'll never know. I mean, look at when you dream and, and you go off into other things. It's just very, it's very interesting what the human body is and the science aspect of it. <laughs> what he just said too, it's like, wow, just praying for so much all the time. And what was that movie with Jim Carrey where he was like, God, and like people are just praying for all of this stuff. And it's interesting, the stuff that people want in this realm, because isn't, aren't we supposedly in the realm of the fallen angel who is pretty much the dark energy aspect? May I recommend people read the book Anunnaki? And it's a great book. It's It actually connects to the biblical stories and it's more metaphysical because, again, these books have been written so many times. And furthermore, getting to truth is very hard because of that. When you get into that in ancient texts and, you know, people aren't going that far, that deep. People don't have time. That's why it's easy to go to a worship group and be lazy about it and, you know, throw a cross on your neck and say, oh my gosh, I'm a Christian or something. So people are making it very hard for the, the people that actually study, right? And that's, that's the sad part because then it, you know, creates, you know, not saying this is horrible, but it, in some ways it's like, you know, when he says supernatural guy in the sky, I mean, there, you'd be surprised and actually, Coming down the line, because of what's going on with the planet right now, I mean, no one's paying attention. They literally said uh, and called this thing that happened the past couple of years Corona. But if you actually look into what that actually means, that's a part of the sun and things that are going on with the sun. And there's so much happening right now that people have no idea about. So no one's really paying attention to the actual world that we're in. We're looking down at our phones. We're driving our cars. We got to go to work. The kids need to, do the, need to do this. You know, mom's over here. Somebody's passing away. Somebody's sick. I need to get a job. They literally just took everything from us. And, you know, it's just always so much going on and then throw politics into that, into that. And you just have like fuckery of confusion. It's crazy. Out of every rundown schmuck with a $2 prayer book can come along and fuck up your plan. <laughs> and here's something else, another problem you might have. Suppose your prayers aren't answered. What do you say? Well, it's God's will. Thy will be done. Fine. But if it's God's will and he's going to do what he wants to anyway, why the fuck bother praying in the first place? <laughs> Seems like a big waste of time to me. Couldn't you just skip the praying part and go right to his will? It's all very confusing. So to get around a lot of this, I decided to worship the sun. But as I said, I don't pray to the sun. You know who I pray to? Joe Pesci. <laughs> Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci. Two reasons. First of all... Wait, who's Joe Pesci? Oh, wait, sorry. I gotta look at... The name is familiar. Joe Pesci. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm horrible with names. Um, Joe Pesci. Oh, my God. Oh, the Home Alone. My cousin, Benny. Oh, my God. Goodfellas. Oh, that's him. Oh, my goodness. He's been in so many different movies. Okay, moving forward. Sorry, I had to find out what that name was. I'm horrible with names. Like, you see all these people in movies, and I'm horrible with remembering their names. <laughs> Joe Pesci. Joe no Pesci. Two reasons. First of all, I think he's a good actor, okay? <laughs> to me, that counts. Second, Dang. he looks like a guy who can get things done. <laughs> Joe Pesci doesn't fuck around. Doesn't fuck around. Oh in fact, in fact, Joe Pesci came through on a couple of things that God was having trouble with. For years, I asked God to do something about my noisy neighbor with the barking dog. Joe Pesci straighten that cocksucker out with one visit. It's amazing what you can accomplish with a simple baseball bat. So I've been praying to Joe for about a year now. And I noticed something. I noticed that all the prayers I used to offer to God and all the prayers I now offer to Joe Pesci are being answered at about the same 50% rate. Half the time I get what I want, 
Half the time I don't. Same as God, 50-50. Same as the four-leaf clover in the horseshoe, the wishing well in the rabbit's foot. Same as the mojo man. Same as the voodoo lady who tells you your fortune by squeezing the goat's testicles. It's all the same, 50-50. So just pick your superstition, sit back, make a wish, and enjoy yourself. And for those of you who look to the Bible for moral uh, lessons and literary qualities, I might suggest a couple of other stories for you. Uh, you might want to look at The Three Little Pigs. That's a good one. <laughs> Has a nice, happy ending. I'm sure you'll like that. Then there's Little Red Riding Hood, although it does have that X-rated part where the big bad wolf actually eats the grandmother, <laughs> which I didn't care for, by the way. And finally, I've often always drawn a great deal of moral comfort from Humpty Dumpty. The part I like the best, all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. That's because there is no Humpty Dumpty and there is no God. None, not one, no God, never was. In fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it this way. If there is a God, if there is a God, may he strike this audience dead. <laughs> See, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Everybody's okay. All right. Tell you what. Tell you what. I'll raise the stakes. I'll raise the stakes a little bit. If there is a God, may He strike me dead. See, nothing happened. Oh, wait, got a little cramp in my leg. Oh my God. And my balls hurt. Plus, I'm blind. I'm blind. Oh, now I'm okay again. Must have been Joe Pesci, huh? God bless Joe Pesci. Thank you all very much. Joe bless you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Did he say Joe bless you? Okay, wow. Wow, this is very, whoa, this is a sensitive topic. Wow, I, I, I didn't know it was going to get that, that, wow. A couple of things, you know, I personally think that there is a higher power, right? Um, I personally don't like to put names on it because if you put too much emphasis on something because you know i don't humans don't understand how powerful they are you are literally walking energy and you know um there's a guy on youtube jay dash griffs i think his name is and he basically is breaking down uh the etymology of words and we don't understand what we're under as far as this systematic setup you know and who's creating this or or why so much has happened but anyway I die. he basically is breaking it down because people don't understand the power of words that's why they're called spelling spell 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 but see you know witchcraft doesn't exist yet there's mm, pharmacia in the bible as well but people don't think anything is being um you know cast it upon them you know and it's i think we're absolutely delusional to that when i was growing up we actually the way i was raised we would just say the most high we are now at such a low frequency a lot of us that there's no mental fortitude to take in these things that are going on in these galaxies and the skies and you know i say that to say just dig deeper um you know, I love the book by Gerald C. I think Gerald C. Clark. I think that's his full name. The Anunnaki and Emerald Tablets and things of that nature, because you're digging deeper. You're going way back. Like he said, you know, billions, like billions of years yet. You know, a lot of us get here and we're just like, you know, 20 years old, 30 years old, 40, 50, 60. And we think we have figured out things because we're basically just following along. I mean, look what just kind of happened with Yay and all of that stuff from another group. And, you know, they feel the way that they feel and they'll, you know, it's literally becomes war. So I feel like as individuals, we have a responsibility <clears throat> with the time that we do have here to learn a little bit more, you know, let us just research and, and dig further, keep digging because it, it, it's, it goes deep. It goes deep. With all that being said, guys, 
comment down below. Uh, be respectful to each other and don't don't be coming for people's beliefs down in the comment section. People can believe what they can believe and they can have their own opinions. So please be respectful to that. Uh, if I see it personally, any disrespect, honey, be, be out of here. But anyway, <laughs> don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.